What is up console superstars and how are you all doing today? I am hoping you guys are all having, if not going to have, an alarming day and night in a good way. Now here we are continuing our Derek Jeter Road to the Show series and so far we are hitting 401, we have 20 home runs. Derek Jeter has been putting on a power display basically and right now we're facing the Pirates. The first pitch comes and it's a curveball that Derek Jeter swings a little bit too early on and he hits a foul ball basically towards the left side and right there there's a pitch out for Cisco Cervelli you know he pops up instantly ready to gun out the base runner if he even attempts to go to second base but he did not so we are in good hands right now just trying to move the runner over we get a fastball and we just get a little bit way too under it and we hit a fly ball to the left fielder which is right there and he makes the play don't really know why most of these outfielders make the play like that if in real life when you go to watch MLB games etc you rarely see an outfielder like wait till the ball is dropping down to actually run last second to it and catch it in the manner in which some of these outfielders catch it sometimes I think it definitely is not as realistic to the game as you would want it to be to a certain extent but it's nothing that's you know game breaking or anything it's just something I wanted to throw out there now second at bat comes for Derek Jeter and he gets a curveball which he might have wanted to swing at but thankfully he held his bat as it is a 1-0 and count runners on first and second the second pitch comes and it's a fastball the Derek Jeter drills to the outfield this ball is going deep this ball is going back the outfielder gives up but McCutcheon is right there to actually make the grab and uh, right there the game tricked me because I saw the outfielder giving up I'm thinking that's a dinger no problem and then last second McCutcheon actually runs and gets the ball right at the warning track starting Marte hitting right now 1-1 count third inning he hits a ground ball to Derek Jeter and Derek Jeter is right there for the out we're going for gold gloves still even though we have one error this season one error is all I want to have with Derek Jeter and I believe we can definitely get gold glove if we only have one error this season of course I'm gonna have to work on my fielding arm strength all of that but if we do then most likely we will have it in our hands now Khan is hitting he hits a ground ball to Derek Jeter I was thinking about going two actually but then I said he's way too close to actually go two. so we need to go to the first base and with that decision we were able to actually gun out Kang and to get the third out of the inning so Derek Jeter is 0 for 2 currently remember we have a hitting streak in mind that we need to continue and the first pitch of the at bat comes and this is a fastball that Derek Jeter drills it's going deep it's going far it's going back and that ball is out of here right towards the 325 feet warning track and that's pretty short for left field if you ask me unfortunately I pressed X here and we did not get to see the home run distance but don't worry guys because on the next home run that we hit I'm going to make sure we actually get the home run distance available for you guys so Francisco Cervelli is digging in now it's at the bottom of the 7 2-2 two -two count 4 pitches as it's a new pitcher we are currently up 4-3 have runners on first and second base since it's not a full count the runners aren't going but they still might steal if they want to it's a pretty slow hit grounder we run the third base but the third baseman gets the ball and throws it to our second baseman for the final out of the inning and now we are coming into bat once again it's the top of the eighth we are up four to three. Oh, oh, count obviously because we are just digging in but 12 pitches by this reliever the pitch comes it's a fastball and it's drilled it's going deep it's going far it's going back and it's out of here so a multi home run game for Derek Jeter guess the home run distance on this one I would guess it but I completely forgot I'm gonna say 428 let's go with 428 feet let's see how far that ball actually was hit as it was completely drilled by our very own Derek Jeter and it was actually 422 feet hit by Derek Jeter most of these gameplays are I wouldn't say old I'm pretty sure I recorded this one not too long ago but I decided to actually I don't even know what I decided to do let's just continue on with the gameplay let's say and it's an 0-2 count now bottom of the eighth it's a ground ball hit pretty softly to Derek Jeter and with 21 speed he's not gonna be able to actually outrun Derek Jeter's arm if 
he had let's say a 50 speed or a 60 speed I could definitely see that being an infield single and it looks like we are getting another at bat in the bottom of the ninth the difficulty has increased it's nine to six right now and a three run home run could actually tie up the game so let's try to go for a three home run game we get a curveball we drive it the other way so Derek Jeter did not try to do too much unfortunately the runner isn't going to go home I did not want him to go home anyways because if he did actually attempt to go home he would have most likely been gunned out because the right fielder I'm pretty sure that's Gregory Polanco has a cannon and we wouldn't want to test that cannon out and make it the last out of the game even though it would be taking a risk 3-1 count comes and the pitch comes and it's a ball so we are now two runs away from actually tying the game Jose Ramirez is coming up to bat full count bases are loaded that means the runners are going which means a single will definitely tie up the game let's see if Jose Ramirez has the clutch in him to actually win this game and he hits a pop-up or a fly ball in general and starting Marte is right there to make the final out of the game so let's head on to game number two where we are coming off the bench to actually pinch hit in the bottom of the ninth so another situation in which Derek Jeter has to be clutch it's an 0-0 count obviously we are going into bat right now but eight pitches so far runners on first and third 4-2 game we could drive in a run the pitch comes and Derek Jeter just gets on top of it he hits a chopper and they do the double play to actually finish the game so unfortunately Derek Jeter wasn't able to capitalize or get an RBI in general to actually help his team get closer and we are going to the third game versus the Pirates who have won like five games in a row so far so they are red hot and when you guys see which player they have playing third base you will come to the understanding of why the Pirates are so good we get a fastball that we swing a little bit way too early on and hit it down the third base line and now it's an 0-1 count the pitch comes it's still the first inning only five pitches so far I believe we are the second hitter right now another fastball that we are swinging way too early on and we aren't capitalizing right now on the pitches that we have that we could drive a long way he throws a four seam fastball that absolutely passes the catcher nobody caught that in general I guess the catcher got crossed up let's say and luckily it didn't hit the umpire but Derek Jeter gets the ball he hits it far but he didn't get all of it as it's a fly ball to the left fielder we still get the solid contact boost but I feel like I if I would have waited a little bit I would have actually been able to drive it further so Nolan Arenado is the third baseman that the Pirates have that I wanted to talk to you guys about now they have Nolan Arenado playing third base they have Starling Marte playing left McCutcheon playing center and Polanco playing right field just imagine that those are four extremely good hitters not to mention they also have Kong who is playing short and Josh Harrison at second base I don't know exactly who they have at first base in this game because I'm pretty sure that Pedro Alvarez is actually in Boston right now as he is no longer actually playing for the Pirates and catcher is Francisco Cervelli so we know that so far but anyways they have solid hitters all around in my opinion this team is definitely gonna go to the playoffs if you ask me I mean they are on a six game winning streak I haven't checked the standings but I definitely will soon the pitch comes and it's pretty close to Derek Jeter he moves out of the way although and he does not get hit by it so it's an 0-1 count and you guys know what happens when you throw it inside to Derek Jeter he gets pretty mad and he tries to rip it he hits a fly ball pretty deep but McCutcheon once again is right there to make the out and there are I want to say there were one out or two outs and we're going now to the bottom of the fourth 0-1 count 39 pitches so far the Pirates are up 2-0 so we are fighting back once again we had an opportunity to actually beat them in our first game but unfortunately our bullpen wasn't there to actually back us up that has been a problem we've had since the beginning since we got called up to the majors that has been a problem because our bullpen was not so good as we were ending the season last year and that cost us first place in the standings but Derek Jeter gets a fastball he drives it deep it's going far McCutcheon at the wall he tries to rob the home run but is not able to and Derek Jeter has another home run so three games three home runs this time it's off of Miley he has not hit a home run every single game but gets the home run distance on that one I'm gonna go ahead and say 436 and let's see the actual distance it's 406 feet actually don't really know how that works I thought that was well that was actually a wall scraper so yeah 406 makes sense 
but Francisco Cervelli is now up. They have a runner on first base. It's the bottom of the six, and it's a 2-1 game, so maybe we can try and get another dinger and actually tie it up or do something along those lines and actually help our team come back. We get a ground ball, and an easy double play is going to be turned right here by our second baseman Langley, but Francisco Cervelli actually puts on the speed or runs fast and actually beats it out so we finally discovered who their first baseman is it's john jay so don't really know how good this guy is but if he's decent he's gonna show it right here he hits a ground ball straight back up the middle but we are looking to turn the double play and langley actually throws the ball away so unfortunately not able to turn two this is the second time we haven't been able to turn two and help our pitcher get out of this inning and with this we are going now to the top of the ninth where Miley is still pitching it to 1-4 count or 1-4 game Pirates up not count that is impossible and we hit a pop up to actually finish off the game as the next hitter after us gets out anyways and with this we end the episode so if you guys enjoyed the Derek Jeter gameplay and commentary make sure you guys thumbs up the video subscribe for more MLB The Show 16 and Derek Jeter and as always have a great day and night stay positive keep on grinding keep on smiling and I'll catch you all in the next one peace out console superstars